my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing, showing you what I bought in a mini haul and just to see, show you what I've got. So I actually have played with some of these items even before I did this video. So um, some of the video may come out and um, before this one, who knows, who knows. But I continue to play and I like to share what I'm getting ready to play with, with So I have purchased the Marc Jacobs Shameless. I've done a review on this one already. I just haven't finalized the video for release, so who knows which one will come first, potato, potato, tomato, tomato. So I do kind of know how I feel about this, but I'm not sharing it with you, not yet. So not then yet. I also got the Rimmel Lasting Finish 24 Hour Breathable Foundation. I actually have that on my face today and I have done a video with this. So you will also get a chance to see that. Since I'm on the foundation that. kick, I wanna show you a couple more. Um, I did purchase the Giorgio Mar Armani um, Power Fabric Foundation. I wanted to see how this did. I've watched other YouTubers bring this up over the last year and a half, two years, and so I thought, you know, I want to try this. So I've tried that. I've also done a video and on then, it. Then um, I wanted to go ahead and get the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. I tried this in a sample and liked it. So now I wanted to try it in a regular form and see how that is. Haven't done a video on that one, updating I it. I did get so me some we'll new blendy brushes because my um, little blender brushes look like hell. Not that they will go anywhere because I still love them, even if they look like Then health. I went ahead and picked up the Sephora um, face mask or hydrators. These are the basically what Sephora thinks is their best ones. And so I wanted to get my hands on that because I do like hydrating my skin. You know, I was in Vegas recently and I was amazed how when you go from a climate that has humidity to one that is dry, how fast your face will feel dry. So for any dry skin people that live in drier areas, holy mackerel, I feel for you. I was using my oils. I was like doubling up on my oils, doubling up on my, um, my hydrating facial care stuff because you know climates really do make a huge difference and i have basically combo to oily skin l more on the oily side and i felt like i still needed to hydrate so very very excited to see um sephora's top picks of how those react or how those act on my skin so super fun then i that. watched a video and i haven't tried these in a long time or excuse me, I've never tried these. I'm a Scandinavia person, but I was watching um, a video on what is the best primer and facial spray. And so it came up as the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer or the uh, Setting Spray. So I think I might do half my face with this and half my face with Scandinavia and see if there's any difference but i was really curious about that because the person that did the video like went crazy about this and i hadn't tried it yet so we're gonna do a face off between the two faced hangover and the scandinavia very soon okay what else did i get um you know i shopped all over the place because that's just how i roll so we're gonna see some of the other things that i purchased um i can't remember if i showed you guys these and i don't think i did I'm, I'm now getting organized. I basically have my room almost set up the way that I want to. I still have some things to do. And again, I, I wasn't sure if I showed you these, but I did buy five of the lipsticks from Sephora. And I think I may have showed you these. The only reason why I think I may have is because of the pug. But if I didn't, um, I wanted to show you that I got these and I'm looking forward to doing a video on these. So the Pug, it has a black lipstick. It's a matte black, which I find very intriguing. I do have two Pugs for nephews. And so when I saw this Pug, I was going to have the lip story with the Pug regardless because I love my little Puggles. Then I saw this gray. I, I've been gravitating towards gray. This one is a metal. 
and this one is just add tinsel I love how Sephora made the outsides of these lipsticks very unique this one is called cafe no cell service and it's like you're in the middle of a desert and look at that one oh, that's a metal also that's just I don't know that just makes me want to scream happiness then we have the color um, let's see this one is called tan lines and it says Thai bar fish restaurant and surf club how cute are these but I did like look at that neutral I just I love neutrals and that screams to me so I did get that one and then the last one is love love so this is on the beach and it has the little footprints in the sand absolutely thought that was beautiful and look at that that's a nice neutral color also so I'll probably be doing a quick little video um, trying those on the different colors but I did want to show you that I, I got those from Sephora so I'm hoping the Sephora brand is really awesome I do want to say thank you to one of my friends this isn't something that I purchased myself but um, one of my girlfriends Miss Megan hi Megan she knows that I do like the Ofra eyeshadows, and so she gave me this, and I'm sorry, this is a blush, in Winter Rose Glow, and she gave me a little palette. So, Megan, thank you so much. Big shout out to you for my gift. I really love that. So, go Megan. But I, even though I didn't purchase that myself, I just had to share that because it's gonna probably come up in a video. Um. Okay, what else did I get here? Um, I went on to Shop Hush because I've been having one hell of a time on Shop Hush and they I mean the prices of their palettes are like I want to say that the most I may have paid is $16 for a palette and you probably have already seen some of the videos if you haven't look for my dupe videos this one is called artistry this is a 12 color eyeshadow palette if i'm not mistaken this artistry is supposed to be one of the knockoffs from anastasia beverly hills and i think i do have this one i want to say this may have been the mario i i'm probably i could be wrong i'll pull out the mario one and see if i've got a dupe if i do this will go against the Mario. If I don't have the correct one from Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'll just do a look with this one. So that will be coming. Then I went ahead and picked up the Aura palette. Let me get into this little box. I wanna say this was 14 or $16 also. Um, oh, these little boxes are tough so this is from bad habit it is a 14 color eyeshadow palette and it's got some vibrant colors which i think are fun 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 so my eyes gravitate towards the yellow of course i i don't know why it just ah uh, it's yummy this color down here called ecstasy is stunning i love that there's a black then we've got phenomenon so i'm going to again check to see if i've got the the original that this is going to be a dupe off of if not then i'm just going to go at it on my own and create a look so then we have a palette from Okalon, which is the metal palette this would have been a knockoff or a dupe of the kat von d palette and I did not capture that palette in time. I think my sister-in-law, Sabrina the Makeup Mom, did. But this palette is really good size. And on the back, they give you some different options of what you can do. And on the inside, um, they've got some absolutely beautiful colors. How about I take that plastic off so you can see the beautiful colors? So I really like the this navy blue down here. That is stunning. Um, again, I, I like the yellow. It, I think that's pretty. That color moss and watt it looks scrumptious. So looking forward to trying that. It's got a huge mirror in it. Just a massive palette. So we'll see how that one goes. All right, let me clear off this little mess here. I went on the Beauty Bakery. The Beauty Bakery was having a sale. They had like 
maybe two or three lips um, for $10 a piece. I think that's right. And so some are going to be a little bit um, crazy in color and then some will not. So I'm going to show you what I purchased so you can see kind of what I've gotten from the beauty bakery. Because anytime there's a sale, I get excited about it. Okay, so we have these three here that are more, once again, neutrals. They scream my name. These babies stay on like all day. I love these. So again, when I saw these on sale, I had to jump on them. And then they had the two metallics, one in gold and one in silver. And I thought these could be kind of fun as far as maybe doing an ombre with the silver or the gold. Just kind of something fun and playful. So I did get these five lip whips. And I'm looking forward to using them. No doubt. No doubt. Again, the Beauty Bakery has some beautiful, The beautiful other thing colors. that I got is another one of these from Urban Decay. This is a heavy metal glitter. I had one of these and it dried out and I was devastated. This heavy metal glitter is stunning. So, whoopsie. I'm trying to find my little mirror. So anyways, uh, this was like a couple years ago. I had wore this out to dinner and one of my friends was like, oh my God, what do you have on your eyes? And so the one that I had bought actually had a tassel at the end, which I loved a lot better because it just seemed more glamorous with the tassel. But um, you can apply this on your eyes as a liner. I'm doing right now for you because I think this is stunning. And let me pull you in closer. Eee. So I don't know if you can pick up on all that glitter. But it's just beautiful. So I had to, when I saw that they had one similar, let me get this back. I think that's right. So when I saw that they had one similar to the one I had years ago that had dried out, this screamed my name. So now I need to do the other eye so that they match. But I just absolutely love how beautiful this is. And I had to have another one. That's all I got to say about that. So very excited about the Urban Decay Heavy okay, Metal. Okay, next. Um, I believe it was my Everything Ellie subscriber that asked me to try the Besame, I think that's how you pronounce it, products. And so I went online to see kind of what they had that I might be intrigued by. And they did do the colors for um, the original Snow White, which is the 1937. And I mean, look how beautiful this packaging is. Absolutely stunning. My One of my cousins, who was a lot younger than me, he always said that I looked like Snow White when I was younger, probably and much cuter, obviously. But um, I think it was because I had the dark hair is probably what it was. But I love this palette. Look how gorgeous this palette is. For anyone that loves Disney has got to love this. But when I was looking at this palette, they said that the colors were um, basically to the original Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs um, made in 1937. So I wanted these colors to be able to play with since those are the originals. And I went ahead and picked up one of the lips and this lip is in Portrait Peach also is supposed to be from the original um, 1937 colors. So I like that it's retro. That just sounds fun to me. But I was most intrigued by this mascara cake. So it's a black cake mascara. You are, uh, this is 1920 mascara cake. And it says the applicator is included. So we're gonna open this bad boy up. Look how cute this is. Cake mascara in black. All right, so we're gonna open this tin and it's got a little teeny tiny brush. And then we're gonna open this little package here. And on that it says Besame. So this is supposed to be very remnant, 
uh, reminiscent of mascara back in the day. You're supposed to be able to put a little bit of water on that, put your brush through it, and put on your mascara. You can also use this as an eyeliner, and that's what intrigued me also. So if the mascara piece didn't work for me and I wasn't thrilled about it, I still wanted to know how did that work as an eyeliner. I love how little that is and how cute. I mean, come on now, that's absolutely precious. So hopefully you will see me very soon do a look with the, how about we turn these around? Um, hopefully you'll see me do a look with these very, very soon. I'm just absolutely 100% in free. And then the last item that I purchased, which is not makeup related, but maybe for a YouTuber it could be, or someone that videos. So I ordered this little thing, God bless Instagram. But basically it, I, I'm supposed to be able to use, ah! Hold on, let me just get out the instructions, okay? So that might be more helpful. Okay, so this little package here, and it's got one heck of a magnet on it. Da, da, da. This little package here is supposed to hook up to your iPhone. Um, it's got, it picks up on Wi-Fi. It also has a USB cable, um, some magnetic clips, some magnetic pads and you are supposed to be able to film a little bit better from your iPhone. And so I was really curious about that. I know some women use their iPhone to video for their YouTube channel. I use a Canon EO5 or EO, I'm sorry, EOS T4i Rebel camera, but I do know some women will video from their iPhone. So I thought, you know, when I'm traveling and I don't want to take all my stuff with me and still video, this might be the next little thing to be able to help me. So I did purchase that. I'm gonna play with it at the house a little bit to get used to it and see how it works. If it works great, I will definitely let y'all know, um, especially for the YouTube creators. You guys might want to have something a little bit different on your iPhone if it really does truly help you um, film a little bit different. Maybe it's easier. I don't know. I'm going to play with it and so we'll anyway, see. Anyways, anyways, this is my little mini haul of the last two weeks while I was out of town and um, I know I have some more stuff coming shortly so I'll do another little haul video to show you what else I've got. And in the meantime, I'll just keep playing with things and, you know, doing my videos on it to see what, you know, what kind of I think about some of this stuff so you can purchase it a little bit more informed with someone that's already tried it. I hope you did like this video. I love my little YouTube channel and family. You guys are absolutely awesome. Um, everything Ellie, thank you for being one of my great supporters and um, also giving me ideas to use for my channel. I really respect your opinions and really enjoy the fact that you will um, throw out different ideas for me to try. So, hello, Miss Ellie. Miss Ellie and her two girls. I, I do really, really appreciate you. So anyways, I hope you all have a fantastic day and I hope you make it a great one. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Until next time.